Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx and welcome back to Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye. Today I don't have a plan and that's exciting. I think the closest thing I have to a plan is we're going to go to the stranger and we're going to just have a look and we're going to see if there's places that I haven't been to yet. I was trying to think places on the, the actual stranger that we haven't explored, at least in part. And I couldn't think of any. And that's probably because we haven't been everywhere. So someone suggested just standing there, looking around the whole of the inside of the loops, having a good look around, seeing if there's anywhere that looks cute, that looks like I could go and have a look at. Otherwise, it's back to the sleeping world. Which I don't really want to do just yet. Um, exploring it last time was really interesting. I felt different. I did feel a bit of fear still. But it feels like we're kind of reaching that point where the bravery is overcoming the, the scary bits, which is good. Things are scary and that's okay. But what's even better is overcoming that fear, learning to deal with it. That's what true bravery is. It's not being fearless. It's being terrified, but continuing nonetheless. I just want to know, I want to know, there's a deep dark part of my psyche that wants to know what happens if we get caught by one of the owls, by one of my freaklets, TM, I'm going to trademark that because people seem to be liking that name. I need to know, because I feel like once I've been caught once then I know what happens. I'm not going to be as scared, it's going to kind of get me over it, so I might even, if we've got nothing else to do say, try to purposefully get caught by one of them and see what happens. But I'll see how brave I'm feeling. Now, I know that's maybe a little bit of a shorter intro than you're used to, but there's a good reason for that. It is incredibly warm today. In the UK, we're lucky if we average about 14, 15 degrees. You know, that, that's like a good, not too cold, not too warm day. That's like normal. It's knocking on 30 today. This is in degrees centigrade, by the way, for people who don't know. It's really warm and it's not even midday yet. It's not even the hottest part of the day. So it is, our houses aren't built for this. Okay. So this might be a little bit on the shorter side. We'll see, you guys will know by now, you'll see in the runtime. Um, but I'm trying to get through this to get you guys some content, to get me my fix of Outer Wilds and also prevent myself from melting. So we've got a few things to look at. I looked through a peephole in the side of the large metal structure suspended by chains like the one in the reservoir. Inside is another green fire and a staircase leading farther below. I saw a vision like recording of two figures taking artifacts into the reservoir's submerged structure and going to sleep at the green fire in front of the sealed vault. Upon waking up with the lit artifacts, the two figures picked up the vault and carried it down a staircase to somewhere farther below. That could be quite interesting to go look at because I feel like while we have seen that, I feel like that's too obvious a thing. Like, we found it. We didn't have to do particularly large amounts of puzzles to find it. We just found it. So by my Outer Wilds experience, just going down there to have a look isn't going to be the end of the world. Now, I could be completely wrong. But I think maybe that could be something to go have a look at if we do go back into there. The Endless Canyon, we've got more to see. Starlit Cove. A secluded village nestled within a cove, a candlelit tower sits upon a nearby island. So that's the, the one that we go to with the tower, with like the, what looks to be some kind of memorial in the centre. I really like the Starlit Cove. I feel like that's the one where I feel the less scared. And I don't know if it's because it's very well lit. Um, I figured out most of the stompy stompies are in rooms that as far as I can tell I can't get to. They're just there for dramatic effect. Shrouded Woodlands, on the other hand, is a whole other kettle of fish. I hate that place, and I love it at the same time. The, the music there really caught my attention. I really want to go find more of the, the music playing. I need to actually mark the stranger so we know where we're going. I loved the music. I got a bit, got a bit caught up then. Where am I going? Also, did I put my suit on? I can't even remember putting my suit on. I just must have autopiloted and done it. You guys win. I'm now wearing my spacesuit in the ship. Congratulations. 
You have ruined it. You haven't. You really haven't ruined it. I don't think you guys can ruin this if you tried. I mean, you could, but the Outer Worlds fandom is notorious for not ruining things. And I love that about you guys. It's fantastic. I can't wait to be one of you guys properly to finish the game, to be able to discuss everything with you instead of just what we've seen so far. Now, let us... We will go in this way. Yeah, I was, yeah, we'll go this way. I was toying about with the idea of going back into the laboratory and doing the shortcut. But no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go the proper way and we're going to have a good old look. And we're going to see what we can see. And I'm going to sneeze. Oh, dear God. Bless me. So, let's have a good look. So I've been there, been there, been there. There's the cove there. And honest to God, I don't quite know how to get there, but there looks like there's steps and stuff over there. So I, I feel like that could maybe be good to go have a look at. And failing that, I don't know because I don't know how much of this is explorable. It feels like there's a lot of terrain here that should be explorable. I think, like, obviously, I am going to. I just saw some stairs. I just saw some stairs. Let me go and have a look. Let me go be nosy. May as well start the far side of things and then, you know, figure it out from there. Where are you? Where are you? Where? Where are you going? Ah, no way did that hurt. Is this back, like, out? Oh, this might be. It might be as simple as that, in which case, congrats, Sturks, you've found a thing. Oh yeah, this is just the start. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I, right, let's go and have a look. We'll, we'll use this raft because it's easier. So. And then I get the music as well, which makes me real happy. I'm going to stand back a bit when we're manoeuvring, because then I can use both of the thrusters and it's a bit quicker what's right so i'm just gonna we're gonna this isn't necessarily smell the roses smell the pines right so i don't feel like we've explored enough to do that but what i do want to do is just kind of try and find silly little places that i wouldn't think of looking like i really want to try to get over that gap i want to do some parkour Ah, could I please not slide off the roof? Thank you. That would be... Can I get up on the roof? Hey! I'm going to go and have a look over here. There's definitely... Something over here. Don't know what. But there is stuff here, and I'm guessing this will all be opened up to us when the river widens, when the water rises, right? We'll try and explore quite a lot of this without using the raft, I think. Because I feel like it's doable. I need to see what's over there. Even if there's nothing necessarily interesting to go and have a look at. So I should be able to, yeah, park all my way up here. Skyrim has prepared me for this. God, I wish I had the Skyrim horse. That would make this so much easier. Let's see, I can't see any structures, like, on the top of things. I'm also trying to see if there's any structures, like, below anywhere. Could maybe go have a look there before. Or... No, well, I've been there. 
that's a frustrating thing. I feel like I've been everywhere. And I think the only places that I are telling me that I've missed things are in the sleepy place. I mean, there's definitely stuff that I've missed here, but there's probably going to be like hints in the sleepy world. But I do want to go have a look here because this genuinely did look quite pleasant. And now I've got here, and I don't know if there's going to be anything to particularly see. It definitely will... Don't scare me like that when I'm about to go in the water, please. Hello? more to see. No. Come on, guys. These rooms make me inconceivably sad. Whatever it was they saw, whatever it was they did, they felt the need to erase so much knowledge. So many memories. Oh, so this is where they're keeping the different slides. I'm guessing. Oh god, how the heck? Do I pop that back there? No? <laughs> um... Oh yeah, right, 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 right. It's one of these puzzles. I get it now. No. No. Eh. Oh god, this could be bad. Oh! Okay, no, it's not one of those puzzles. It is, but it isn't. Can I get this wet? Yes. Okay then. That is fine. And where is this going to take me? Is this another one of their little secret passages? So I'm guessing there must be one of these in like each of the places. Yeah, this takes us back to the cinema in the the, the tower place. Oh, come on, slam. Slam. Slam dunk, there we go. No! That was overzealous oh my god right let's get up here there we go i never was any good at basketball let's go get a lantern so each of these places must have a hidden thing so we found the one at the grove the, the gorge not the grove we found this one so that means there's got to be one back at the beginning but where would one do that maybe there's something near that raft i guess okay it must be somewhere near that raft or otherwise over in that area so they're quite clever they're quite quite sneaky the dam is looking a bit worse for wear so we are going to have to get a bit of a jimmy on and let's see what this one has let's see where they hide this one so one of them is hidden in the endless cavern whatever it's called and I have to turn out the lights and that's going to be freaky as hell because that is going to be jump scare central and I'm going to have to be very careful not to turn on lights by accident because by the looks of it it's light sensitive I need to be careful otherwise that's when I'm going to have to conceal it and I'm going to have to literally walk around in the pitch black okay so There's the tower. Okay, they're taking that. Oh, this is... 
god, they're clever. Oh no. No. <laughs> I don't want to know anymore. I really, really don't want to know. I don't want any parts to play in any of this. I wonder if there's anything to have a look at the dam once the dam's gone, because I feel like we just kind of glide over it. I wonder if there's any kind of structure under there to have a look at. Let's go and have a bit of a look. So, I know now there's got to be a place in the first area. So it's either going to be at the dam or it's going to be like down there, I think. That looks like a bit of a point of interest. I've always wondered why is there a raft there? Because it feels like a bit of a strange place to just have a raft just sitting there for apparently no reason. Also, what's over this way? I don't think we've been down this part of the river before. We've always taken the centermost route. Oh. oh boy, this is some white water rafting if ever I've seen it. Okay, no, this just takes us back out here. It's just like a shortcut, maybe? So there's a raft there. I just need to really start to pay attention to things. Like, have a good look around. The things that otherwise I might miss. We'll go and have another look over here. We have been here definitely and I've looked around. Let's go and have one more look. I can get on I can get on top of the dam. I can get on top of the dam. I didn't know that. Come on, I don't have time. Hurry. Get me up there quick before this bad boy breaks. We might be cutting this a little bit fine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. This is the kind of thing I need. This is what I was looking for. This will get my fix today. Bingo. Is this... Where is this? Oh, it's keeping track of things. So we're moving... Away? But why? Where are we going to? Is that why the sails activate? They're, so they're solar sails. Like... Yeah, they're solar sails. Like Treasure Planet style. But where are we moving to? It's taking us outside the radius of the supernova. They've, they, they've already... That's what that blue flame must be. They've already calculated it. They know how big this supernova is going to be. They pl have they planned this this whole time to survive? I mean, I I don't even I'm still confused as to how alive these guys are, right? Because 
by any stretch of the imagination, they definitely look like they're rotting a little bit. So I don't get how some of them are still dreaming or how some of them are still alive or just what the deal is. I don't know where we're going, but wherever it is, it's deep. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> All this time, there's been shortcuts and you didn't tell me. All oh, this... Does that mean... There's one on the other side? Is that what you're trying to teach me? No, of course not. But there are... Shortcuts. I both love... And despise the fact... That that has been here... The whole time. And they failed, well, I failed to find it. It's not that they failed to tell me, I failed to find it. That's how simple this is. I just, and then this is, this is obviously the habitation quarter. This is, it's all airtight. How much time do I have left? I don't feel like we have a huge amount of time. We don't have time. But we're so nearly out of there. So what's what's the long-term plan here? Sleep it off until the world ends? And then what? What's next? This doesn't make sense to me. Like that they've they've slept for so long that they're rotting. They can't just come back. Sure, you know, they, they can't, the, the bodies are, they're decomposing. So what is the plan here? I... I am missing some incredibly important piece of information. But both species, their plan is to outlast this to get more time which is strange because to me the whole point of outer wilds is learning that while you're playing the game you have all this time but there's going to be a point where you're not going to have that You know, for me, this whole thing, this, this whole experience is just one big analogy for loss. And loss comes in many different forms. You know, I've spoken quite outwardly about my loss on this channel. And I will continue to do so. But the fact that these guys and the Nomai combined... We're trying so, so hard to just get a little bit more time for the Nomai was so they could find the eye. They were cheating time. They were using their brilliant intellect to cheat the universe to get those extra 20 minutes. And for these freaklets, they... I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. I'm still kind of clueless. Feels like... They saw the eye do something terrible. They, they learned the hard way that... If they go to this eye and they interact with it, if they do something to it... Something terrible is going to happen.
and that has now led to them sleeping and burning all their memories. And that's a bit of a jump. And there are vital pieces of information that we're missing. There are, you know, there's whole generations of history lost to us that mean that we don't get that information anymore. We don't know. We we'll probably never know. I don't know. I don't know what happens in the rest of this. I don't know if we'll ever find out. We'll know bits of it, surely. It's not even like time moves differently in the dreaming world. Time moves exactly the same as it does here. It's not like in reality where dreams might seem to last for an hour or so and in reality you've been dreaming for a few seconds. So I don't get the long-term game plan and it's starting to bug me. The Noma you could kind of understand, it was always about finding the eye. These guys have found the eye, they've achieved that. There's something else, but there isn't a clear set goal. And I don't know if it's going to be good. From what we've seen of these people, they are quite capable of doing terrible things. But just like humanity, they're also capable of doing great good. And part of me wishes, part of me hopes that they make it, that they, they, that they do it. But while we can't remember them, and we can't remember what they did, the Nomai taught us to take people with you, to remember them as you go. So we're going to sit here as they did. And watch this. As their great grandchildren would have done. And it's never going to get old. I do still stand by my theory that I appreciate that it's it's categorized separately in my death counter being recalled on the stranger. As far as I'm concerned, I'm just being recalled by the Ash Twin Project. There's no way that these two species ever interacted. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Well, next time we need, we need to find that last tablet. We need to find where it lives. So I need to go back to like the Cinder Isles, whatever it is, like that first settlement. And I need to have a good look. And I need to figure out where they're storing it in that first sleepy place. And then we need to go and have a look in all these places. I need to learn their layouts. I need to do a heist. That's what we're going to do. Right? Let's let's not beat around the bush. We are going to enter these people's dreams. This dream world that they have built for them to be safe. And for them to be quietly whisked away at the end of the universe. We're going to break in. We're going to stake them out and then we are going to steal their most precious artifacts. Are we the good guy in this? I, I'm starting to doubt that now. Actually, it's kind of got me a bit hyped. I'm quite excited about trying to learn that because it is going to be a case of I'm not going to, be able to do it in like an episode each. I'm going to have to learn it. I'm going to have to explore them first. And then my guess is, at some point, I'm going to have to do all of them in very quick succession, in one loop, get them all, and take them to that sarcophagus.
That sounds like hell on earth for me. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed a slightly slower paced episode. I'm going to go chill now. Literally, I'm going to go get some nice cold drinks, have a cold shower, and cry about the weather for the next 12 hours. It's been a while since I've been this caught up in thoughts about this game. And for once, I'm genuinely running out of things to say. Not in a bad way, but because I just I can't quite comprehend it yet. I'm hoping in the next few episodes I'll be able to kind of put into words a bit better my feelings and be able to talk to you guys more about it. That's why I'm thinking we're probably going to do a Smell the Pines soon. Just so I can have the time to sit and ruminate and think. But in the meantime, that's all I have time for today. Thank you all so much for watching. As usual, I have been Sturks. You have been incredible. And I will catch you all later for the next part of this little adventure.